Welcome back. This is Dan Haby with CF Ninja Hacks. And in this lesson today, I want to go through and hopefully clear up some issues when it comes to all of the different URLs and different paths that you can have within ClickFunnels. And the first one I want to show you is when you go into your page and you're editing, we normally just come up and we click on preview and you get this big long URL up here at the top. And I've seen a lot of people try to give this URL to somebody else and thinking that they're going to be able to go to that page. And of course, it doesn't work because this preview only works from inside of your account. So you don't ever want to give this preview to anybody. And I'm going to start a little list over here. So your preview link is the first URL we're going to put in our page here. We're going to document all of the different URLs you can have inside of your ClickFunnels account. So again, don't ever give anybody that URL if you want them to go to your page. What you do want to do is you want to give them this URL right here. Every single page will have a different URL in this place. So if you want to send somebody to this order confirmation page, you give them the URL that is in this section right here. You never give them the preview link. So the next URL we want to look at is the funnel URL itself. And if you come up here and highlight this and you, you can see it says visit funnel URL. If you look down in the bottom left hand corner of my screen, you're going to see what the funnel URL is. It's real-marketing.clickfunnels.com slash test sales page with some numbers and letters afterwards. You're also going to see that that is different than what we have here. So the first part of this here, this is my click funnels subdomain which we set up when we set up our account settings and then the squeeze page that is for this particular page itself which of course is different than what our funnel URL is so let's go in and click on settings and look at our funnel URL which again is different than the first page in the funnel itself so the name of this funnel is test sales page and that's why the funnel URL at the bottom has the path of test sales page with numbers and letters afterwards. And if we want to change this page name, let's just say test sales, let's just take off the page part and then we wipe out our path and then save the page, it will give us a different page URL or more accurately a more a different funnel URL. So you see now it's called test sales. It changed up here at the top to test sales and the path changed as well. And when we highlight the funnel URL up at the top, you can see down in the bottom left hand corner how that has changed as well. So now let's just change it back to page and wipe out the path again and then save it. It's very important anytime you make a change to anything you wipe out the path otherwise it's not going to change the path the path will stay what it was before so let's just do this let's come up here and you can copy that URL to your clipboard and let's go in and we will paste that in as our funnel URL but that's not the only funnel URL that you could possibly be using because we'll go back into our settings and you'll see that we can change our click funnel subdomain to our own custom domain and we could do that by clicking on here and we were using real funnel marketing as our example when we set up our domains earlier so now let's go into where we have our domains set up and we're going to click on real funnel marketing and we want to expand this and we want to change the default page so we'll just click here and we'll scroll down the list until we find our test sales page and then we'll click on that because the first page in the funnel was test sales page slash squeeze. So what this is telling the computer is that anytime that somebody puts in just the domain name, Real Funnel Marketing, they're going to go to the first page of this funnel. So we're going to click on save. So when somebody puts in just the domain name, they're going to end up here. You don't end up on the funnel URL, you end up on the first page of the funnel. So now let's go down to the bottom and save this so that we set up our new custom domain. And you see here now the ClickFunnels subdomain was replaced with our custom domain. And again, it has the path appended to the end of it. So because of these changes, we can come up here and we can see that our funnel URL has changed to realfunnelmarketing.com slash test sales page plus some numbers and letters at the end so let's copy that out 
and we will put that in as our second option for our funnel URL. And of course, our domain, we know that is realfunnelmarketing.com, so we will copy that out and just put that in there. And a domain does not include technically the HTTPS slash slash uh, because it's just the name of it itself. So if you told somebody to just type in realfunnelmarketing.com because of that default page we set up, it will send people just directly here to this first page in the funnel, which is the squeeze page. Now here's an important note. I've seen people ask the question, can you use the same custom domain on multiple different funnels. And because of the fact that you have to set up this default page here, that would be really hard to do because if somebody just types in realfunnelmarketing.com, they're gonna end up on this default page, which of course may not be the same default page as in the three or four different funnels you were using that domain on. Now, that being said, if you're doing uh, just marketing through, let's say, Facebook or something, you're going to put in specific links to that very first page in the funnel. So if there's really no chance that somebody's just going to type in the domain name, it's, it's okay to use it. But you start risking things when you start sending people to uh, different funnels using the exact same custom domain. So now let's take a look at what we can do as far as cleaning up the paths. Everybody would like to have just a clean path. And a lot of people, what they really want is just to have it say realfunnelmarketing.com and that's it. But inside of ClickFunnels, you have to have a path at the end of every single URL. It's just it's just how they have it set up. So let's take a look at how we can clean that up inside of this very first funnel page. And again, most people, when they get a link, most people, when they, if they just type in your domain, most everybody's going to end up on this page right here, the very first page inside of your funnel. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go over to publishing and we want to take a look at our funnel step name and it's called squeeze right now, but our path says squeeze page. So let's, let's say we want to make those both the same. So let's just delete that out and then click on update the funnel and that will update the funnel path with the word squeeze as you see here and some numbers appended to the end of it. Now we still have not achieved our clean path name yet so let's click on the funnel step again and we want to come down to this gear icon just to the right of edit page. We click on that and here it says squeeze and here it says squeeze. So actually at this point here, we have a clean URL set up. Normally you'd have a bunch of letters and numbers and stuff after this, just like you've seen with every other one. But let's now click on delete and we will update this page. So again, basically you need to have the word here and then also with nothing else after it, and we will click on update the page. Now, if we go to this page, let's just click on this and open it up. You'll see up at the top, what happened is, and let me just refresh the page, it'll say squeeze with all the numbers afterwards, which is the path that came out of publishing, and then it will change it to just squeeze itself. Let's see if I can get it to do it. Actually, let's just back out of here, click on it again. So just watch up here. So just for that split second, there were the numbers after it, and then it cleaned it up and went to just squeeze. Now, if we want to go to the page itself, let's visit our funnel URL. Again, we're going to end up with just squeeze because that's the cleaned up path name. And now let's take out the squeeze and just go to the domain itself. And there it goes, you got the cleaned up squeeze as well. Now one thing I like to do on my funnels is people, believe it or not, will actually look at that path name. And if it's gonna be there, you might as well use it to your advantage. So let's just say we're gonna put in free course as our name for it. And then we're going to put in F-R-E-E dash C-O-U-R-S-E. Can't be any spaces in there. So we're going to use free course as our path. So let's update that page. And now let's go and visit our funnel URL. And there you go. Now it says free course. So you can actually use it as a little bit of advertising, if you will, to be able to get people to say, oh, hey, I, I know what this is. I'm going to get a free course if I'm on this page. So just to finish up here, to try to make it clear, what are the best practices as far as getting all of this set up? 
First off, you don't ever give anybody your preview link. Chances are you're never, ever going to give them the funnel URL, but you will give them the domain. Sometimes you just say, go to realfunnelmarketing.com, or you may also just give them this link right here, which is a link to a specific page. Or more accurately, what you'll probably do is actually go in here and clean up the publishing as well. We did not do that. When we went down here and we cleaned up the, the path down there, we should have come in. And you see how it populated free course right here? What we should have done is we should have come in here and wiped this out, clicked on update funnel step, and now it says free course right here. So if your putting this into an ad or anything like that, you want to use this URL right here, even with the numbers on the end, because again, that's not a URL that somebody's going to see. If it's a URL that somebody's going to see, you give them this one here without the numbers on the end, and it will again take them to the same place. So there's actually three or four or five different URLs that will all take people to the same place, and it will be this first page in the funnel. So hopefully that cleared up any problems or questions you had about the URLs. The biggest thing here is if you want somebody to come to this funnel in general, you normally want them to come to the first page and you just give them this URL name right here and just go in and clean it up here and here so you can use it as a bit of advertising, free course, free training, get your free widget, however you want to say it right here. That will help people know what it is they're looking for. So hopefully that helped out. If you got any more questions on this, reach out to ClickFunnels Support. And until